good or no? Good afternoon. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thank you. I want a new partner now. <laughs> no, I'm ready, I'm ready. I can't see that on the telly. Oh. <laughs> Start again. I, mean, I can't believe I just said that. Think. Is that a past gig? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're done. What are you most excited about for going to New Zealand? Um, I think probably like experiencing new culture. I've never been to New Zealand before, so probably experiencing new culture, meeting new people, seeing all the different teams, like teams we've never played against before, and like interacting with them. The pool that we've got is super exciting. We know Wales is going to be tough, but also playing against the likes of Australia, we haven't played before. New Zealand on home turf in front of the Hakka. Yeah. Will be class. Yeah, I think seeing the Hakka is like that's something that you think you'll only see on the TV to be stood, potentially stood in front of it is a yeah. pretty incredible opportunity. I think for me it's the furthest that I've ever travelled um, and essentially playing rugby over there where it's so embedded in their culture and yeah I think that would just be amazing to be in that sort of atmosphere. Obviously it's just an insane opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think many people get to say that they are representing their country in New Zealand playing New Zealand in New Zealand. How many times can I say New Zealand? <laughs> I don't know if you guys know we're going to New Zealand. Um, so yeah, I think that is going to be like one of those moments where you kind of have to take a step back. Um, it seems really weird, but like obviously we've both been on this journey for like 10 a years. Yep, a long time. So actually um, to get on the flight to go to New Zealand to the Rugby World Cup is like, that's what I'm most excited about. Um, and I haven't thought much past that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure the rest will come. I think just to go and make memories with all my friends that I've been with throughout the years, like putting in the hard work and um, yeah, I think just going out and putting on performance, but also just making loads of memories that I'll remember. Um, I think like it's been a really long journey um, to get to a World Cup. Um, I think like this team's been through a lot to, to get the opportunity to go to a World Cup and like, I'm really excited to see what we can do on a world stage. Um, and for me, that's that's what it's all about. Like some young girls who've just come into the squad and shown what they can do, and now they get to perform in New Zealand against Australia, New Zealand, Wales. Like that's going to be an incredible experience. So I'm excited to be part of that. Nice. I mean, I'm pretty excited to see my mum and dad, oh, yeah. uh, and for them to come and watch us play. Um, I'm also really excited about pies. You guys don't know about pies, so I'm really excited that I get to introduce. Uh, this whole squad to all of the wonders that New Zealand holds. Like obviously it's been like a dream since I was a kid, um, but to be going there with some of my best friends, thank you, <laughs> um, is like really special to me and just yeah, just creating memories that will last like a lifetime. Yeah. Like you said, yeah, mm -hmm. so, yeah. Same. So I think just like the opportunity to play against all these different teams that we wouldn't normally. I think we're so used to playing Six Nations, like that small group that playing some world class teams would be a good opportunity for us to see where we're at. I think like the biggest thing is being on that world stage and like I don't have many memories of a World Cup or not a Women's World Cup anyway. Um, like I want us to be out there and little girls see us and have memories of us playing on the world stage out in New Zealand like rugby country is class so yeah I think just get ourselves out there and hopefully they can pick up a rugby ball. So do you have any memories from other big sporting events? Uh, yeah, I watched the Women's 2010 World Cup because one of my close friends, Nicola Halfpenny, was there. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I was watching that, but I remember seeing like Donna Kennedy and all that there. It was just, it was crazy, like it was really physical games, but I just remember watching it and thinking, I really hope that's me one day. Um, I think a big one for me, and really topical as well, is I was a ball girl at the 2010 World Cup, so the last time that Scotland played in a rugby, Women's Rugby World Cup, I was there on the sidelines running the balls up and down. There's probably some really embarrassing photos somewhere, but let's hope they stay hidden. Um, yeah, we're but pull them definitely off. something that I'll remember for the rest of my life is being inspired by the, those players back then. So, yeah, really cool to be then playing in the next one. Um, I would say Jessica Ennis winning the Olympics. That was something that definitely mm. stuck out for me. Powerful. Yeah. For me, in terms of my rugby journey, there's one that's really important, which was. Glasgow 2014. Yeah. Um, not that I, I went and watched some of the athletics, but then also watched some of the, the rugby on TV. And it's actually what inspired me to get back into rugby, as I wasn't doing rugby at the time. So that kind of got me back into rugby, and now I'm here. <laughs> yeah, no, I went to that tournament as well. Very cool to watch, like world class 
um, players, teams in Glasgow. It's just pretty, pretty cool and inspiring. Yeah, I think when I was growing up, we had the Mountain Bike World Cup come to Fort William. Um, and that was like such a massive event. And I think for me, it was really cool to see that the men and the women were on pretty even footing. Mm -hmm. um, like they both ran on the same day. Like you would kind of think of mountain biking as like a male dominated sport or like quite physical, mm -hmm. but actually the women were like incredible at it as well. Um, so I think for me, that solidified the fact that like I can do whatever I want to do. Yeah, like, cool. Okay, so first one, Athens 2004, was watching Catherine Granger. Um, Steve Redgrave, the rowing, I just remember being like sat on the stairs watching it thinking so cool I want to be a part of a big tournament like that. And this is going to show my age but I think the first time I remember like a world event was the Football World Cup in 98 and um, last time Scotland were there <laughs> um, and we had a sweepstake and I got Scotland and I was so excited and I just couldn't understand why they hadn't won uh. um, but I think probably Athens 2004 when Kelly Holmes won her double um, Olympic titles, that's when I was like, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to be part of these events. I remember watching Scotland women play at Murrayfield, um, probably 2002, and they played against Sweden in the main stadium. And I went along as a wee seven-year-old um, and got to watch them. And that day just fell in love with it, was desperate to be part of the women's team in the future. I uh, went to the Men's World Cup. I watched Scotland Samoa in 2015, St James's Park in Newcastle. I like, got the train down Class. when I was a pro student. So to now be playing a World Cup is pretty, yeah, it's pretty surreal. And I loved your commitment to supporting Catherine Granger. Yeah, I know. You've got to back the gal. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Scottish too. <laughs> What's the one thing you have to pack like it's a necessity? I can't forget my Birkin pogs, they've got gum. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> they've got gum, they're perfect for all weather. So Unpopular it'll... opinion. I think I'm quite a minimalist when it comes to packing, just like to keep it simple. But definitely a couple of comfort hoodies, make sure nice and comfy in the evenings. I'm going to pack a hair mask. So I've recently got into hair care from Louise McMillan and that's going to be very important to me this trip. This is an easy one for me, that'll be my ukulele. Oh yeah. Run in the Wales. Yeah. I would say a jar of Nutella. Ah! Um, yeah. <laughs> the nutritionist, but that's what I eat before game day. Well, on game day. So just have that so that I can have my breakfast. That is an essential then. Yeah. Snacks. <laughs> I need a lot of snacks. So I want to make sure that I stay everybody's friend. So I will keep topping up with lots of snacks throughout. <laughs> Mine is definitely my pillow. Like, you do not want to see me in a bad night's sleep. And for me, a pillow is a massive input and also my earplugs, um, two of the things that I need to have a good sleep. So I think that they will be coming, they'll be first packed. Earplugs, you never know who your roomie's gonna be. <laughs> is that a past gig? <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna bring a notebook with me um, and write down some of the memories and fun little stories from our journey uh, so we can look back on it. Um, the year's coming. No way, that was genuinely what I was going to say. Oh, I think um, when we had the thistles in and they suggested that that's what we do, I was like, that's really important. And there's always like little bits of silly stories that Rona's done something ridiculous or something. You want to remember those so you can take the mickey out of her for years to come. Um, decaf tea bags. <laughs> <laughs> to go with my crochet. <laughs> so decaf Yorkshire tea bags. So like everyone knows, difficult to get good tea in like countries that are not Britain. Like that's my been my experience anyway. New Zealand might be different, but I've never been, but I'm a girl of routine and I like a decaf tea before bed. Probably on every rugby trip, I take a Scotland flag. Um, and then like a couple of photos as well with mm -hmm. me, like some from over the years. I think this one will be like in particular a good one to look back on. You just have, have those for a couple of days when you need them. Um, my iPad. I'm an iPad kid. Of course you are an yeah, iPad so kid. Yeah, so iPad, movies, um, yeah, mm. definitely iPad. I think I need to pack fake tan. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can't live without it and that is embarrassing. Wait, we'll just stay calm yeah. because all I need to pack is a sprinkler for the post-match functions. <laughs> 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 we got it. <laughs>